Hello everyone, welcome to Malki Singh Academy. This is your host Jaskira Singh. Hope you are doing well. So guys, uh, recently I have uh, received so many queries regarding how to set up Microsoft 365 A1 or G Suite for education for an educational institution. So I have received uh, so many uh, queries regarding that. But in all the queries, what I find that uh, so many people find the most difficult part is like uh, where to start and which thing to do first and so on. So today in this video, guys, uh, I'm going to share all the basic things that you need to know and also the flow of work in which you have to proceed in order to get free education accounts in G Suite and as well as in Microsoft 365 A1 account. So if you are a principal of a school or a college or even a staff member just like me, then this video will really help you because uh, in all the queries that uh, I have received had a very common mistakes and problems in them which are really causing some major problem in setting up uh, these free education accounts for their school or colleges. So the only purpose of uh, me making this video is uh, to let you know that uh, how you, uh, you can proceed and uh, by following all the steps that I'm going to share in this video will help you to set up all the free education accounts. So without uh, further ado, uh, let's start this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I uh, request you to subscribe that because I regularly make these kind of videos related to education and uh, computer science. So let's start this video, guys. So here, guys, uh, I, you, you can see here that uh, I am sharing my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And here you can see 365A1 licenses are free for student and uh, as well as for the teachers if I talk about the Microsoft Teams product. So if I go show you the licenses here, so I get uh, for the free the 5000 licenses for faculty and uh, 5000 licenses for the students. So I think uh, these uh, licenses are pretty much uh, for a regular kind of institution because the 5000 teachers, I don't think a institution have a 5000, but students can increase, but you can easily increase the number of students here just by requesting them to give you more licenses. So Microsoft give you more licenses very easily. And uh, similar things applicable to your G Suite. So I have already made a complete playlist both for Microsoft Teams and uh, as well as for G Suite. So here you can see that uh, this is a free edition and no charges. So you can set up a G Suite admin center for free. So you can add IDs, users in your account. So I have already shared the complete playlist. So here you can see I have uh, made a complete playlist on Microsoft Teams. So I have shared the every step that you have to follow in order to create or uh, establish a 365A1 free education account for Microsoft Teams. So you can see I have made a lot of videos on that. So you can definitely check these out. And similar things for uh, this G Suite. So I have made uh, all the basic videos. Uh, we can say that uh, you need to establish a G Suite for education. So I'm going to share some couple of PPTs with you. So here you can see. So this is our workflow, guys. Uh, <clears throat> If you are watching this, then uh, first step is uh, both for G Suite and for Microsoft 365 A1. You have to uh, create a sign up for your account. So this is your first step. So I have already uh, put the link of all the playlist in the description box so you can check that out. And the next thing you have to do is to adding the domain names. So domain names are like your website addresses. So you have to add the website name of your uh, like educational institution which you are having so if i click on here uh, in the uh, domains here you can see in the settings so in the domains uh, this is uh, like you will already get these options so but you can add domain as many as domains so it depends upon how many domains uh, your organization have like uh, you have multiple domains so you can add so adding domain is very easy you have to verify the domain so here uh, there are two domains one is default uh, it is provided by the microsoft itself so you can also use that if you don't have any website but uh, adding domain gives you a more uh, authenticity to your organization so you can add your own domains so that that will be your second step so it is uh, written is four but it is your second step adding domains 
after adding domains uh, how you can get unlimited licenses in microsoft 365 a1 so this is the process guys i'm going to share with you this is our work process that you have to follow once you have set up and uh, you have added your domain in your microsoft 365 the next step that you have to do is to create a new service request so that uh, you will find in the support so here you can see new service request so you have to click here so this is your third step uh, first is setup and then adding domain and this third one is your new service request because uh, uh, in the starting of this uh, uh, coronavirus or this pandemic microsoft is very lenient in giving the licenses but as uh, this uh, pandemic uh, prolonged and uh, so Microsoft also become very strict in these kind of things. So you have to create a new service request. So uh, this is very easy. If you want uh, anything, just type in here and uh, you will get the option for context port. And when you click on the context port, you will find all the titles and description. Just uh, describe the situation that uh, you are a such and a such institution and you want unlimited licenses. So you can give your mobile number and by the way this is my mobile number so you can whatsapp me so anytime i will uh, always ready to help and uh, <clears throat> here is your email id so just type in any email id here you want and then click on contact me and within uh, 15 to 20 minutes microsoft representative will call you and uh, you can explain all the things once you uh, call them and you had a talk with microsoft they are going to send you this email here you can see the snapshot of this email i have received so here there are a couple of questions that microsoft will ask you that uh, like uh, what is your institution active website so website is must but if you don't have website you can still apply for microsoft 365 a1 so you have to like uh, confirm the identity of your institution so there's a couple of things that you have to provide them your institution details and uh, your institution is uh, regulated by government uh, agencies so you have to provide that like uh, the affiliation number on a, or, or something like that is your organization is uh, government or non-government so you have to provide all the details and then send back this uh, email to microsoft and uh, luckily uh, if your website is valid and the uh, information you have provided is valid you will definitely get a unlimited licenses if not unlimited then you will get 5000 licenses so that is pretty much uh, a lot of licenses that you can uh, give or assign to the users or your students after that uh, the next fourth step is uh, you have to uh, do this to your admin center so i have already made a complete video so you have to run some commands in powershell so manage who can create groups in microsoft teams so if you are going with microsoft teams you have to like uh, uh, limit certain users so that uh, they cannot create their own teams so this is a very important step uh, that a lot of organization left these uh, these steps but this is very important just uh, give the authorization only to the teachers or the admin department so that only they can create teams in the microsoft 365 admin center so this is your fourth step and the fifth one is the setting up the policies for students so policies are like uh, you don't want to uh, allow the students so they they can uh, private chat or private calling because in microsoft teams there is a feature for calling so they can search in the database any student so they will come up and they can start private private chat or private calling so there are a lot of things that uh, you have to take care of when you are setting up for Microsoft 365 A1. So policies are very important. So you don't want uh, that your students are talking to each other or making private calls to other students. So th that is going to be a lot of uh, problems for you as an institution. So this is your fifth steps, guys. And uh, you, have, you can assign uh, policies to multiple users in Microsoft Teams using PowerShell. So I am just, again... Uh, uh, like promoting myself but uh, these these videos are very useful for you if you are if you don't want to spend a lot of money to the IT people so if you watch them I explained everything in that so that uh, you can assign these policies policies to multiple users and uh, setting up for G Suite as I have already told you that uh, I have uh, made a complete playlist for that so you can create a G Suite account and similarly you have to add the domain so 
you can add your website so G Suite is uh, pretty much uh, very easy as compared to 365 A1 this is Microsoft but uh, these uh, two different uh, educational have uh, these uh, platforms are different benefits and drawbacks so if I can say that uh, the main drawback in uh, G Suite and uh, Microsoft uh, Teams is that uh, in Microsoft Teams you can add uh, as many as participants in your meeting but uh, in G Suite for education uh, the limit is 100 so you cannot uh, add more than 100 participants in your G Suite account so I have uh, made some other videos that uh, how you can add users so you can definitely check all these videos so it will really help you and uh, here and in both of these admin centers you will have these uh, support options so these support options these are very useful so you can uh, contact them anytime you want so they are a very great help so because uh, once I am just setting up a G Suite for education so for some school and uh, I just stuck uh, somewhere and because that was a problem from their side so um, in that case uh, you can like uh, contact the your this uh, Google admin so every this uh, these kind of platforms have uh, admin centers so you can call them they will uh, definitely provide you assistant in that so always uh, go for the assistance so guys uh, you can find uh, all the these support here you can see in the google admin center you can see the support option here so you can uh, talk to them and uh, you can request them request them to call you so they will help you like setting up a meeting so you can show them around and uh, this is a great help so you can contact support so that is all guys uh, for setting up the 365 so you can contact me or email me anytime i will <clears throat> definitely help you and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video guys see you soon and if you have any query you can comment me in the comment box i will happy to help you out in any case thanks a lot guys see you soon guys bye bye